And right behind them, this a moment ago, the nine and one fourth ranked Tennessee Volunteers. It's Tennessee, Florida meeting for the 31st time this game with SEC and national championship implications. The winner of this game goes to the SEC championship next week. Ready for kickoff. Alex Walls will kick off for Tennessee, Florida. Deep, Leto Shepard and Kiwan Ratliff. Leto Shepard averaging 22.4 this season. Nailed it. Kiwan Ratliff backs up seven yards deep. Touchback. And Grossman will go from the shotgun on first down and 10 from the 20. Essentially an eight-man front. Here's Grossman back. Here comes the pressure of the shot more. And the pass is dropped by Jafar. Rex Grossman for the season has now become among the top five candidates for the Heisman Trophy, though he is but a sophomore. Right side, pass caught. It's Gaffney nailed as he gets to the 28-yard line. Third down and two, the tackle made by Teddy Gaines. And offensively up front for the Florida Gators, it's Pearson, Snell, Zadalis, and the others. Gillespie starts for an injured Ernest Graham. Gaffney Caldwell, Aaron Walker is the tight end. Taylor Jacobs is the third wide receiver. Third down and one. Check off. Draw play. There's where they miss Ernest Graham. And some linemen inside. Matt Leach will punt on fourth down. Had a tough night two weeks ago against Florida State. This one will bounce as Dante Stallworth back to return. Let's it roll. And Tennessee will take over. And Kelly Washington will have a whole season playing receiver. And Casey Clawson, well. On first down, here's Clawson across the middle. Stallworth, big game, Tennessee. On first and ten. Stallworth out on first down and ten. And Bobby Graham, the possession receiver, has taken his place. This is the, the season graphics for Casey Clawson. Nice job of communicating. Just does beat the play clock. Travis Stevens as a flag. Before the ball will snap, movement by the offensive line, five yards to the first down. Now you've uh, been introduced to Casey Clawson. Let's check the rest of the offensive line. Up front, Coleman, Weary, Wells, Herrera. Stevens and Bartholomew along with Stallworth, Parker, and Finlayson as the tight end. First and 15. Reggie Coleman, a key guy to left tackle, sat out last week's game. Alex Brown jumped. He may have come across. Here's Bobby Graham with a catch, and Gus Scott hauls him down. But to the snap count, and he was getting a tremendous jump off the ball. Second down. That's Jason Witten, the lead block, and Travis Stevens. Nice run. Picks up the first down to the 36-yard line. The vastly improved Florida defense from one year ago. This is the way they'll line up. Lee, Scott, LeFaber, Alex Brown, Nateel Davis, the key for them, Byron Hartman, and in the secondary, Shepard, Johnson, Marquan Manuel, and Benny Alexander. And Derek Tinsley in the backfield now, the freshman running back for Tennessee. First and ten, Clawson with time, deep down the middle, but the tight end, Jason Witten, and he is knocked down by Gus Scott. Both wide receivers come wide left on second and ten. Backs in the eye. Little dart to the left, and the tackle made by Andre Davis, middle linebacker. Tight end over here to help on Alex Brown. Good choice. Clawson from the shotgun, draw play. And Stevens comes left, bounces off a tackle, and that is close for the first down at the 28-yard line. Gus Scott, Todd Johnson finally got there. You know, one thing about him, we talked to Travis before the game, or, or yesterday, and when he came over to talk with us, I mean, he is really small. I mean, he's put together pretty well, but he's short, and he's able to kind of just squat down and hide in behind these linemen. Watch him stay low and just kind of bounce around in there. He's had an outstanding year, and his story is a great story. Randy Sanders, the defensive coordinator, told us in a conference call on Wednesday night, we want to get their safeties involved. It's fourth down, and they will go for it. You see the graphic from Stephen Gere. Fourth and one, backs in the eye. Stevens got it inside the 25. 
Philip Fulmer. Last year, they moved the ball and had to kick field goal. They need to score touchdowns. Lawson will throw on first and ten. Comes short. He's got a diving try at the 15-yard line. And the catch is made by John Finley. Bartholomew, the lead back, in front of Travis Stevens on second and one. Here's Stevens. And he plows forward. That should be enough to move the chain again. Tennessee trying to take an early lead. Play action into the right flat, caught by Bobby Graham. And Marquand Manuel moved the ball up and down the field, but you don't beat Florida with field goals. Here's the handoff. This is Troy Fleming, number 27. Jabari Davis has come in. The big back, 230 pounder. Quarterback keeper Clawson. And again, it would appear that he got yeah. enough. First and goal. Here's the toss right. Travis Stevens gets a block from Troy Fleming, but then nice defensive pursuit. Second down and goal. Backs in the eye. Play fake. Clawson has a man. Touchdown, Troy Fleming. That's his second touchdown catch of the year. Poised by the quarterback. Sell the fake. Florida thinking run. Casey Clawson does a nice job. There's Travis Stevens. He was a very significant part. And then gave way at the end of this big fullback, Troy Fleming. Troy Fleming is a bigger guy. He's out of the backfield. Excellent hands. And Casey Clawson gets Tennessee on the board first. Alex Walls will kick off for the second time. Ratliff and Shepard await the kickoff, and this will be Kiwan Ratliff at the seven-yard line. Heads left, pretty good pursuit. Excellent pursuit by the Tennessee kickoff coverage team. Tennessee defense, which in itself is a very good unit. And they've got a healthy front four. Bernard Jackson, John Henderson, an Outland finalist again. Albert Hainsworth and Will Overstreet. Stevenson in the middle. Kevin Burnett on the outside. And in the secondary, they will be tested. It's Gaines and Baker, Battle and Jabari Greer. They've got to take the challenge. They've got to get up right in the face of these receivers and challenge them and hope that the pressure comes through inside. Grossman has time, comes right. He's got a man wide open. Rishay Caldwell. So the first and 10 strike just continues each week. First down and 10 at the 37-yard line. Here's a reverse. Rishay Caldwell coming right. And did most of that on his own. The tackle has made the initial contact, but second and one. Up the middle it goes, and Robert Gillespie gets the carry across the 50. In the Southeastern Conference. Second successive first down. This one is knocked down, and Grossman almost caught his own rejected pass. Different look on defense. Look at all the movement by the Volunteers. New oh. look. Two down linemen, they stunt, they blitz, they come from everywhere, and it's knocked down again, and intercepted! That gives Tennessee a first down at the 47, first turnover of the ball game. Clawson comes across the middle. That one is knocked down by Ian Scott, number 99. Jason Witten starts in motion, the second tight end. And up the middle, nice defense on Travis Stevens. Volunteers lead by seven, third and nine. Late stages of the first quarter of play. From the shotgun. Florida brings four. They bring one from the corner. Here's Clawson. Forced out by Mark Juan Manuel. And that will be a flag and a penalty. And that is going to give Tennessee a first down. Yeah, that's a that's a very dumb penalty. After the play was over, dead ball foul on the defense. 15 yards to first down rush three and as Casey Clawson gets out of bounds he hit him up by the head and uh, any official is going to call that and first and ten at the 29 Clawson again with a lot of time across the middle wide open here's Graham inside the ten and down at the five yard line Philip Fulmer's choice to take over as starting quarterback midway through his freshman season last year, he did not play in this game a year ago. Here's Stevens, stuck. Travis Stevens, the deep back in the eye, and that is Bobby Graham in motion. Draw play, Stevens up the middle. Touchdown, Tennessee! 
Florida came into this game favored by 18 points. Alex Wall is on for the extra point. On its first possession, Tennessee uses seven minutes and five seconds to get a touchdown. Now they turn an interception into a TD, and they are shockingly up by 14. Casey Clawson, a little quiet right now. Here's Ratliff drifting back, and Alex Walls, another booming kickoff. I was on the practice field. They waved to me. They called me, <laughs> and I waved to them. First down and 10. Here's Grossman out of the backfield. Gillespie, who is a five-pass receiver from that tailback position. Sophomore Rex Grossman. Brilliant season thus far. Needs to rally his offense now as they trail by 14 points. Here comes the pressure. Knocked backwards. Third time. Third time. Could not tell if he hit the helmet or just a shoulder pad. Third and six. Two down. They'll bring four. And Grossman goes deep left side. He's got a man at the 30-yard line. That will be a Florida first down. The yeah, and six pressures against him, which is exactly what Tennessee wanted to do. He's back to throw again. Will have to scramble. And is hit from behind and dropped after a gain of one yard. Second to nine, John Henderson, Outland Trophy winner a year ago, said this is why he came back for his senior season. Zone blitz, Grossman. Drills it. Taylor Jacobs to the 45. Nice. First down, Florida. A gain of 13. This is moved back to the starting center spot. He snaps it back. A draw play. Gillespie bounces off the tackle. Regains the line of scrimmage. His second and 10. Final 25 seconds. Opening quarter. Three down linemen now. Here comes the blitz. They stunt. And they've gone. And Grossman lets it go. Caught. Diving catch. Taylor Jacobs. First down at the Tennessee 41. That's the end of our first quarter with the score 14 nothing Tennessee. We we'll return to Gainesville, Florida for this message and this word from your local station. The Gators with a first and 10 of the Tennessee 41, their first serious movement offensively of the game. Here's Grossman, deep right side, single coverage. And the catch is made by gracious Reese J. Caldwell. What a throw, though. I mean, you just cannot put the ball. Now, watch the throw. Out over the outside, impossible to defend. And the left foot clearly in. Great throw, great concentration on the sideline by Riche. In the red zone this year, 24 of his touchdown. Here's the toss right. Gillespie met and driven down. On second down, Gaffney split way out wide to the left side. Quarterback keeper, touchdown, Florida. Rex Grossman. We've seen him do all different kinds of quarterback sneaks. We've seen him dive over with the football. We've seen him go low. All-time leading scorer in Florida history. He now has 355 points. Rex Grossman, one-yard touchdown run. 14-7, Tennessee still leads. He is the deep man for Tennessee. Here's Petrovich taken by Scott. Gathers it in at the three. Goes right. And the world-class speedster, Casey Clawson. In at quarterback, first down and ten. Witten will split off wide right. They're not afraid to throw it to him out there. That's where they go, Jason Witten. And he muscles his way. A fumble picked up by Todd Johnson. That's, that's a good call. That ball was live. Gus Scott forced it. Johnson picked it up. First down, 10 after the turnover. Quick strike. The pass. Gaffney, he's got a man in the end zone and overthrows it. Gaffney, two weeks ago, completed a 40-yard pass. Yep. We had it. That was one of those ball plays he drew up this <laughs> week. <laughs> Out of the gun. Here comes Tennessee stunning. Grossman with time. Incomplete on third and ten from the 16. Gaffney, bottom of the screen. Tennessee brings five. They got a blitz. Grossman, flag is thrown. Face mask. 
of an incidental face mask against the defense. The five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat third down. And Tennessee, two down again. See how many they bring. They'll bring five. Here's Grossman, lets it go in traffic. Gillespie to the five. Close, very close. Rand Carthen is in now as the tailback on first and goal. 14-7, Tennessee leads. Carthen, two yards. Alex Brown looks on, playing his last home game at Florida Field. Play fake, Grossman into the corner. Got a man, can't get him. Led Gaffney by a touch too much. And that was a one-man route. Watch the crossing routes here on third down. Grossman back. Deep in the end zone. Tips and incomplete. The flag is down. In the backfield. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. Appeal to the NCAA to lose that year and be granted an extra year of eligibility. It was given, so he is a fifth-year senior. And he's now connected on 13 consecutive field goals for Florida. CBS Sports coverage of the Home Depot SEC football will continue after this word from your local station. But the margin now, 14-10. Here's Petrovich with the kick, and Leonard Scott drifts over. Will let it go through the end zone. That'll... He's a Saturn blimp duck. Guys everywhere. Here's Clawson out of the backfield, incomplete. It'll be second down and 10. It's show off. <laughs> second and 10. Ducks up. Clawson across the middle, caught at the 25-yard line. Let's see what he does on this third down play. Third and five. Goes across the middle, it is caught, and that is a Tennessee first down. Jason Witten with the grab. Twin receivers wide left. The tight end Witten split off. Bottom of the screen wide right. Here's Casey Clawson. Deep left side. Man coverage. Dante Stallworth. Incidental bumping at the 35-yard line. The ball's went on to win it. 20 to 13. Here's a quick pass out to Graham. Wide to the left. And he gets to the 41-yard line. Substitution in violation against the defense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Going to start again with no... Walk off of any kind. Second down and five. Stevens jolted as he gets to the 41 yard line by Andre Davis. Tennessee looks at third and four now, and Clawson will go out of the shotgun. Scott Will snaps it back. Corner blitz. He comes right, and it's bobbled and intercepted. Picked off, and here goes Mike Natiel. It went right through the hands of Jason Witten. Natiel grabbed it at his knees and counter punches inside the bench. After the second Tennessee turnover, Grossman wants to strike on first down a lot of time. Deep got touchdown. Jabbar Gaffney. <laughs> Seventh touchdown for the sophomore from Jacksonville. That's in his career. It's Grossman to Gaffney. It's become a deadly combination for Florida. Here's Petrovich with the kick. This one very high, but also very short. And it's taken a fair catch call at the 19 yard line. First and 10. Twin receivers wide left, and Jason Witten goes in tight to the right now. Travis Stevens up the middle, big hole. Cuts left, it's a foot race. And Stevens across the 50. The angle is there from Todd Johnson, but an enormous gain for the 5'9", 190-pound back. The first down at the 32-yard line. Handoff, Joy Fleming, this time four to set for it. No game for Fleming, second down and 10, and Stevens is back in the backfield. And again, Witten split off wide right. Clawson across the middle, has a receiver at the 26-yard line, Bobby Graham again. Down to nine seconds on the play clock.
Comes the backside blitz. Witten, man coverage for the tight end. And can't hang on as Gus Scott. Now the field goal attempt from Alex Walls of 43 yards out. He's 13 of 17 for the season. No! Now's when the Tennessee defense has to really step up and respond. Grossman will hand it off. This is Gillespie, number 20, after the 31-yard line. Second down and six. Here's Grossman back. Fires it right side. Caught by Gillespie one-on-one -on -one out on the corner. Rashad Baker is there defensively for third and one. Florida up. Quarterback sneak again. Grossman coming left and appears to have gotten enough to earn the first down. First down and 10. Grossman out of the shotgun. There's Stunning. The flip out of the backfield to Gillespie. This is where he excels. Out to the 48-yard line. And Caldwell breaks off wide to the right side. And here's Grossman with play action. Blitz coming. He gets rid of it. Comes near side. Gaffney out of bounds at the 40-yard line. The quick release of Rex Grossman. From minor league Barishnikov. Gregory Hines, I guess. Here's the pass thrown out of bounds. Soft balance throw by Rex Grossman. Again, a second down, 10, Florida. They've scored 17 unanswered. Motion left side. That's the tight end, Ben Troop. Yeah, and again, Tennessee. Five yards, still second down. That gives Florida a second and 15 from the 45, nursing a three-point lead. Now three down, and here comes six. Grossman, he's going to be hit as he lets it go, and it's incomplete. Flag. Not a complete blitz with all man-to-man. -man. It's try to get four rushers. A first down, 10, Florida at the Tennessee 30-yard line. Stephen Marsh, number nine, the new guy in for Tennessee. There's a four-man volunteer rush. The pass complete to Gillespie at the 25, hit from behind after 23, and there is a flag. Six men on the line cost the Gators five yards. So they now operate with a first and 15 from the 35. And Grossman lets it go. Taylor Jacobs at the 31 yard line. Twin sets, wide right. And here comes a rush of six. They got it as he let it go. And Grossman's going to get up slowly. On this big day of college football, it's third and 11 here. I think John Henderson needs to step up and make a play for Tennessee. This may be the biggest play of the game for the Volunteers. Grossman with time, goes left side. Jacobs has it, and he is down with it. First down at the 15-yard line, a 16-yard game. As good as Tennessee has played in this first half, they can't afford to go down 10 to end the first half. Play clock. Nope, didn't get it. Going to cost him five. First down and 15. Grossman scrambles, cuts back to his right, throws it up to him. Are you kidding me? As he's falling down, he just instinctively finds a blue shirt. But Kelvin Kite is laid out. Looked uh, on the replay like helmet to helmet. Second down and seven at the 12. Triple receivers to the right. Here's a quick toss out to the right. Rishe Caldwell looks for a block from Taylor Jacobs. And that was a kind of a puny effort. Less than a minute to play. First half. Gillespie. Nothing there. It'll be fourth down. And we're going to see Jeff Chandler again. But now the senior Jeff Chandler attempting his 14th consecutive field goal. It is up. And it is good. Chandler down. They are popping everybody. <laughs> I tell you what, I thought Will Overstreet was going to block this field goal. Watch Overstreet right up the middle. I'm not, I don't know how he missed it. Oh, what a stop. Yep, what a stop by the Tennessee defense. Six is better than ten. But it's going to be Chandler now kicking to Leonard Scott. Now strip it. This one taken. By Corey Larkins, number 23. He's a running back turned defensive back. Hasn't played much on offense. Well, 14 points to start this game for Philip Fulmer 
and the Volunteers, but 20 unanswered now by the Florida Gators to give them a six-point edge. They got there, helped in no small measure by two turnovers, one a fumble and the other a deflection for an interception. Volunteer football team, Leonard Scott, back to return the kickoff of Matt Petrovich. This one again, short, taken by Scott, who fumbles it, picks it up, and is hammered at the 20-yard line. Now you hear, heard Philip Fulmer tell Jill Arrington, first five minutes are key. Here's Clawson deep, right side, behind the intended receiver, second and 10. Travis Stevens and Will Bartholomew in the backfield. Here's Clawson across the middle, pattern underneath. And that is the fifth catch for Bobby Graham. Third and four. Clawson, right side, Dante Stallworth underneath on the crossing pattern across the 50. And a big first down as he was out for three. Would not have played had this game been played on September 15th. Here's Clawson. Here's Washington. Here's a first down at the 35. He's got 55 on the season now. First and 10 at the 35. Stevens, big hole. Breaks the tackle of Mark Ron Manuel. He is gone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Hundred and ten yards on twelve carries, and the volunteers erupt out of the halftime locker room. Travis Stevens, a finalist for the Doak Walker Award, and the volunteers are up 21-20. Loving this one as they try to win here for the first time in 30 years. Here's the kick, and it will be taken by Ratliff at the eight-yard line. Heads right, avoids the first tackle, and is down. Good downfield coverage. And now, as a fifth-year senior, has been a marvelous springboard for the success of the Volunteers. Here's a handoff to Rand Carthen across the 22. And Look at that, the rushing yards. Last year, the only year since 90, the team that rushed for the most didn't win. Here's Gillespie out of the backfield. First down, Florida for 35. And a first down 10 now for Grossman and the Gators. Grossman chased right. Back his tight end, Aaron Walker, who was popped and down. Look at that. 18 times they've been able to get in his face. Second down. There's a good block. There's pressure from the backside. And Gillespie makes the grab. What a wonderful play by Grossman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who had a string of nine consecutive games of 300 yards plus end by 10 yards in the victory over Florida State. Here's the attempted run up the middle, and Rand Carthen runs to the 46-yard line. He's there. Here's Carthen rolling inside the 40 to the 38. Well, you know, they got the War Eagle thing, too, so sometimes it can be confusing. <laughs> first sack. First sack. Bernard Jackson. Standard four-man front now for the Volunteers, but Every they're blitzing point. and bringing six, and here underneath is Gaffney. Got a bunch back. He's down at the 33-yard line. Third and five. Grossman, empty backfield. Steps up, drills it. Tip, almost picked off. Here he is right here. He needs to get in his stance and come off the football. That's when he's most powerful. Fourth and five. They will eschew the field goal. Grossman with time. Puts it on a rope and finds Taylor Jacobs. And again, pressure on Grossman. Toughness is overlooked. He tits hit. He hangs in there to the last minute, and he delivers the strike. Here's the slip. Richard Caldwell, second carry of the night. The kid is a tough, tough kid. Second down and seven. Gators trail the Volunteers by one. Third quarter of play. Here come five defensive players. Grossman dances up. Sacked for the second time in this series. They've been marvelous so far this year inside yep. the red zone. And one of three tonight. Third and 13. Grossman back alone behind his center. 
Davis snaps it back. Grossman into the end zone, incomplete. Reshay Caldwell. Fifth year senior Jeff Chandler, two of two tonight. This from 35 to reclaim the lead for the Florida Gators. Oh, he just does get it inside the left upright. He had a bit of a slump in the midseason. Missed two against Mississippi State. Came back and had problems against LSU. Decided to grow a beard. He made that one by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Leonard Scott, deep for Tennessee. And again, it's short, high. Scott comes up. This one will be taken on the left side by Corey Larkins. And Larkins out to the 30-yard line. Indeed it is, Jill, and it's a first down 10 Tennessee. Clawson will throw. Nope, he'll run. He's not known as a scrambler, but he slides. Casey's actually slinging it in there. Second and five. And again, he's forced to scramble, pulls up, comes back right, dumps nice. it. Travis Stevens, who is hit and dropped. Third and one. Backs in the eye. This is Stevens darting to the outside. Picks up the first down at the 47-yard line. First and 10, Tennessee. There's Clawson back. Deep down the middle for Stallworth. Intercepted. Picked off by Lee Joe Shepard. Only his second of the season. And be prepared for Florida to go deep right away. Here comes the corner blitz. Jabari Greer. Grossman finds Walker. The tight end. See the plus seven ratio for turnovers coming into this game. Minus two tonight. Now here's Grossman again being pressured. Watch out. That's a oh, forward. That's they a better, forward. Oh, wow. Are they calling that incomplete? He's dropping back. He's on this yard line. Wow. Third and nine. Grossman. Gaffney. First down again. And a first down 10 with a two-point lead. Here's a fake reverse. Gillespie tries to get out of jail. Second and nine. Three down linemen for Tennessee. They'll bring five again. Quick flip left side. In and out of the hands of Rishay Caldwell. Last time they had third and nine, they gained 17. Here's Grossman, takes the snap under center, finds Gillespie out of the backfield again. Close. They'll spot the ball. It's fourth and one. The quarterback sneaked here a couple times already. Oh, move. oh, oh right guard. guard. Yep. Tommy Moody. Florida goes for the first down from the Tennessee 36. Fourth and six. Gaffney's got single at the bottom. Here's Grossman. Good block with time. Now, caught and dropped, and a flag is thrown. That's going to be holding on Florida, and Tennessee comes through again. A big, big play. Down. The 45, first and 10. Stevens comes right. Breaks the first tackle. Second down and eight. 33 seconds to go, third quarter. Draw play, Stevens coming right. Got a terrific block, and he crosses the 50. He'll be four yards short of Anything going on in the swamp tonight? <laughs> That's the end of three. 23-21. We'll be back in Gainesville after this message and a word from your local station. Listen to the crowd. Like a white noise. Movement. Or the protection ball snap movement by the offense. Five yards, still third down. Third and eight. Shotgun. Now Casey will clap on this one. The center knows once he sees the clap, he can snap it. Low snap, but Clawson controls it. Pressured right, off balance, thrown, completed, but short of the first down. I think on fourth and one, Travis Stevens is the deep back in the off. Double tight end set. Now Stallworth moves up on the line, and Witten goes in motion. Play action. Here's Clawson rolling out. On the bootleg, he's got a first down. Crazy legs. First down comes at the 43. I formation now. 23-21. Clawson out of the backfield. Travis Stevens 
plants his leg and cuts back to the left and that time they got the conversion they had a three-point lead on that play a year ago and Florida went 91 to win here goes Stevens Travis Stevens chased by Johnson knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line Stevens with 161 yards this would be a good place to throw right here for Casey Clawson first down hands it off instead touchdown Tennessee Jabari Davis and the volunteers fight back to reclaim the lead I think it's too early to do this Stallworth in motion there's a bad exchange and the ball recovered with a four-point lead thanks to the Jabari Davis up and over the top he did a great job of making sure he communicated to all of his players Alex Walls with a kickoff this will be taken by Lito Shepard and Shepard comes to the right out to the 22 yard line on first down and 10 Grossman and the Gators trail by four Play fake. Grossman gets a good block, drills it out. Caught. And Riche Caldwell circles out of trouble and is knocked out of bounds. It looked like it was going to be intercepted. Well, the concentration. But you don't get these opportunities very often. And twice now in the second half, Tennessee had opportunities to intercept Grossman and couldn't come away with the ball. That's a gain of 22. First down is Gillespie. Scoots through right guard. Up. Here he is up here. He's got to get that one out of his head because he's on Jabbar Gaffney right now. And that's the direction that Grossman will go. Gaffney first down inside the 30. It's 312 is total for the night at this point. Caldwell is in motion. There's play action against Grossman. Is going to be caught. That's going to be a fumble. Yes! No! Oh, they're calling him down. Two times tonight, Rex Grossman has gotten away with a bad decision of being not protecting the football. Second down and 20. Grossman is back across the middle. That little outlet pass to the 35-yard line. It's Grossman with an empty backfield. Three receivers wide right. Two off to the left. Here's the toss left side, and he overthrows Gillespie. For a 52-yard field goal, his career long is 54. Here's Brian Stone putting it down, and Chandler knocks it way downfield and right through the uprights. for more than 85,000 at the Swamp in Gainesville. Here's the kick, short, Scott gets it at the 11. And goes right down at the 22-yard line. They'd like nothing better than a victory today. All right, Jill, they trail by one right now at home. Tennessee, Casey Clawson, Travis Stevens, who's had a wonderful game, and he amplifies that statement by breaking Gus Scott's tackle. And here goes Stevens. Amazing. 68 yards. He's got 227 now. First down and goal, Tennessee. Stevens. That's uh, Jabari Davis, number 31. Second and goal from the five. Bartholomew, the fullback. Jabari Davis is the deep back in the eye. He gets the handoff, follows Bartholomew's block, and struggles down to the one-yard line. Bartholomew in motion. They go right. They've got a touchdown. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but I still listen to oh, you very baby. closely. That is Tennessee football. And 68-yard scamper. Alex Walls with the extra point. The 
Tennessee Volunteers jumped out to a 14-0 lead. Fell behind at the half by six. They recame the edge by eight. What a way to lose the game. Here's the kick from Walls. Leto Shepard drifts over, stays inbounds, and here comes the count punch. He's got some room after the 41-yard line. And recall, if you will, that here's the uh, handoff to Grishay Caldwell. Fights his way out to the 50-yard line. I think Grishay made that decision on his own. Offense had seven men on the line of scrimmage, no penalty. Second down. To take the lead instead of now just a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Second and one, Grossman. In as he lets it go again. He's got Jacobs. Project. Good downfield coverage and Rex third and one. At the 49. Quick set up and the pass incomplete to Gaffney. Fourth down. Florida looks at a fourth and one. Well, and there's a lot of time left. I mean, Steve is going to go for this, but there's seven minutes and 30 seconds left, and he's only down by eight. Movement. Yeah. The tight end. He went through two games when he had no punts. This one off the side of his foot. Not good. It does take a Florida bounce and will drift inside the 20 and come to a rest at the 15-yard line. Coming into the game, Florida, the number six team in the country, only giving up 86 yards per game. Here's Travis Stevens stuffed this time. But don't get conservative right now. Your game plan has worked so far. Don't stray from it. Second and 10. Stevens behind the block of Bartholomew stopped at the 19-yard line. Tennessee 5 of 10 on third down in the ballgame tonight. But this is a long yardage situation. Lawson gets the snap. Blitz throws it down low. The catch is made. But not enough for the first down. The lefty sails it high. Shepard at the 30. Nice, nice coverage. Personal foul is going to be called against Tennessee. Oh, boy. First and 10, Florida. Rishé Caldwell in motion, gets the handoff. Here's the double reverse and the throwback to Gillespie. Not a lot of room. It only works to the 41. That one really... To keep it to a relatively short game. Second down and one. Play action, Grossman. Picked off. There was contact with Gaffney in the defender career. Third down one at the 42-yard line. They'll give it to Gillespie. He comes right. First down Florida at the 35. Comes in a fumble for Joey Heisman. Grossman back. Here's the deep throw for Gaffney. That's up for grabs and incomplete. With a hold right in the middle. Ten yards in the previous spot. Repeat first down. Watch right here. Watch Zach Zadalis. He's got a man right over his head, and there goes the takedown. Got the arm underneath. And a first down 20 from the 45 now with 3.49 to go. Grossman, Richie Caldwell. Got the yardage back to the 30-yard line. Second down. Grossman comes right Same side. Play the other side. Again. Yes, it is. And. Rishay Caldwell has a Florida first down at the 23. First and 10, Florida. Here comes the blitz. Grossman back. He goes for Gaffney right side. Double coverage. Tipped and incomplete. Good coverage. Second down and 10. He's back. Little underneath pattern. Gillespie breaks the tackle and is down to the 15. At least half the season combined, if not all the season. Third down, Grossman, quick set up. Gaffney turns at the 10. First to go, Florida, with 2.03 to go. And the Gators have one in timeout. First and goal, Florida, at the 7. Watch the back of the end zone. A Caldwell to the right. Here's Grossman, pumps once for Caldwell. Fires for Caldwell, makes the catch inbounds. The clock will continue to run. Caldwell to the right. Perez in a slot to the right. Here's Grossman. Pump, fire, caught it. Touchdown, Florida! Carlos Perez. And now the try for two. And Florida will spread them out. 
This for the tie. Snap is back. Pressure fires it incomplete. Seventy seconds remaining in this one in the swamp. Now both Petrovich and Chandler are up at the ball. Which of the two kickoff men will kick this one? It'll be Petrovich. It bounces, and it is retained by Tennessee. John Finlinson, the big blocking tight end. Florida can stop the clock just once. Here's Clawson, takes a knee. 61 seconds to go, second down. Florida cannot stop the clock. Offside. Five, five yards, repeat, second down. Which is apparently on the cusp of being drained by the Volunteers. Casey Clawson. What a job he did. Managing the offense, keeping his composure, and Philip Fulmer, the monkey, is off his back. Last time he walked off this field as a victor, he was an offensive guard. He's put on a couple of pounds since then. Steve Spurrier told us yesterday there is an enormous amount of respect between these two programs. And he heads out to shake Philip Fulmer's hands. Congratulations to the Tennessee Volunteers and Philip Fulmer. We will see them in Atlanta next Saturday night.